I'm your Shreshta ma'am here to explain you your next lesson of class 4. What is your next lesson students? Your next lesson is lesson number 15. What is your lesson number 15 student? Means of transport. In this chapter from the heading only transport. The meaning of transport is students persons or good or things by which with the help of which thing we are going to transfer it from one place to another. Already you have studied in class 2 and class 3 that what is the transport, how many types of transport are there. Now you are going to get some few, few more points about the transport in this chapter. So just have a look on the whiteboard that transport definition. What is transport? Transport is what student? Person's good carried by a vehicle or the la land through water and air is called transport. Now this was the definition of transport student. This transport is divided into three main parts. How many main parts? Three. Land transport, water transport and air transport. In this land transport the things which we have to travel on the land which help us to travel on the land from one place to another that we have to study that are buses vehicles trains these buses and vehicles come in and including vehicles including car bikes etc these two make roadways and these roadways is divided into Five parts. First, number one, expressways. Number two, national highways. Number three, state highways. Number four, district roads and rural roads. Now, expressways. Expressways is made for students to go from one state to another state. Expressways indicate this only from where we have to begin travel from one high class of roads in India to the eight lines eight lines are there students and then we can travel there you can have a look on the book also about the express road picture is there express roads are the highest class of roads in india they are six or eight lane okay students then next is your highway see the picture of highway is there highway and this highway you can see that the highways are national highways and the state highways. The national highways connect important cities, state and capitals while uh, the uh, Grand Trunk Road is also there. Then this the, the from the national highway only Delhi, Mumbai, El Calcutta, Chennai is being recorded. So that Delhi, Mumbai and Calcutta, Chennai is being, uh, we can go from there. So that is the, uh, you can say golden quadrilateral. Okay, students. Next, we are having the waterways. Water for waterways also, student. Waterways, I have explained here. Waterways is the cheapest means of uh, transport by we can travel from ships, boats are used and they we can carry goods it is the cheapest means of transport now next is air transport student air transport is divided what is air transport student the things by which we can travel from one <coughs> place to another with the help of air that is the air transport so air transport uh, is are having airlines expense they are very expensive they are the fastest means of transport they reach places like Mountains, peaks, floods, where we cannot travel like these places like mountains, peaks and floods. These are the uh, air transport. Needs of air transport is necessary. Now trains. How many try in land transport? I, we, I have explained you roadways. Now next is the train. How train is there? 1853 the first train ran and that ran that train has been ran between Mumbai to Thane. And next is student Shatabdi. Shatabdi is the fastest train and Rajdhani is also the fastest train in India. Next is what student? Metro train. Train is divided into, uh, <coughs> train is divided one who ran on the roads, uh, one who ran on the uh, railway tracks and one underground railway system. So this is metro is the underground railway system by which we can travel and here your railways 
and expressways and air transport land transport air transport and water transport three means of transport is students over so now i think that you all have understood what are the three main means of transport land air and water land is divided in roadways and expressways water is divided in ships boats and air transport is totally divided into the air and we can travel from the airline some major international airports are there student chhatrapati shivaji international airport subhash chandra international airport indira gandhi international airport these are some airports which is mentioned in the book so you all can have a look inside the book and then you can read the chapter very properly okay student i will come in my next class and our next class and i'm going to explain you your lesson number 16 so till there bye students